So now, let's do a bowling ball and pin animation using Dynamics inside of Cinema 4D. For that, I'm going to bring in an object. So I'm going to bring in something uh, like this plane right here. And I'm going to increase the size. This is going to be uh, my collider object right over here. So I'm going to go over here. And then for the plane, I'm just going to uh, uh, press the C button so that I can convert it into polygon just like that. I do not need a lot of segments just like this. So I'm just going to go on uh, right over here. I'm just going to press Control Z right here. And I'm going to decrease its uh, uh, its uh, segment first. So I just need one by one segment. That is it. So press C. And I'm going to increase its size. Just like that. And now what I need is I need a bunch of balling pins right here. And then I need a ball uh, so that it can actually strike the pins right over here. So I'm going to go over here and just bring in the spear just like this. So this is going to be my balling ball right over here just like this. So a bit of balling ball right over here. I'm not going to keep everything into proportion. But anyways, so I got this balling ball right over here. So I need this balling ball to actually go over here and then knock down the pins over here. So now I'm going to do that by using the dynamics. So this is the bowling ball and over here I need the pins. So now I'm going to uh, make the pins by using, uh, let's say, the spline pen tool. So I'm going to go over onto the side and over here, this is the bowling ball as you can see, I'm going to make the pins right over here. So just go over here and then I'm just going to click and drag. So I'm going to make something like a pin shape right over here. And there you go. There's the bowling pin right over here, just like this. And just go over here click it and click it. Press the space bar and there you go. You got this right over here. So I'm just going to drag it on to the center. I'm just going to drag everything onto the center because I want to apply revolve onto this. So select the pin right over there. And then I'm going to go over here on to these uh, selection. I must have actually uh, created this in the center. But anyways, so this, let's go over here just like this and line it right over here on to the center. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to revolve this. So uh, I'm going to go over here. Let's revolve this. So to revolve it, I'm going to go over here uh, to revolve it. I'm going to use the lat tool. So the lat tool is right over here under the extrude. So right there you go. That's the lat tool right over here. So I'm going to drag in the plus spline under the lat. And there you go. That's the balling pin right over there. So it does not really look like a balling pin if you ask me. So I can actually tweak it to actually make it uh, look more like it. So I'm going to go over here on to the spline, just like that. I'm going to select the points right over there and then work around with the points. So you can see that we can work around with the individual points right over here uh, to work around with the balling pin right over here. So just go over here and then work around with the pin. So make it uh, seem more like a balling pin. So just go over here on to the side, push it in or you can go over here. Uh, pull it out and right over here. So just push this in a bit and it looks more like a balling pin now. So now what I can do is I can uh, convert the state to object. So everything gets converted into a polygon. So there's my lat as you can see and I can simply control it. So I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to uh, select the object now. This is my lat tool. I'm going to keep it a bit above uh, my surface area right here. So I'm just gonna keep everything over here on this side. So I'm just gonna make a few copies of this. So I'm going to make a um, press control, drag it in. And there you go. There are four copies of this just like that. I'm gonna select three of these and make a copy just like that as well. And over here as well. Uh, there you go. So I'm gonna make another three copies as well. So I'm gonna select this. Um, I'm going to select all of this now. So I'm going to select this, this and this and I'm going to I'm going to make copies of this just like this. So I got all the 10 pins just like that. All the 10 balling pins right over here just like this. I can select all of them and I can move it around here. But before I actually um, uh, made that, I should have actually made them into a rigid body. But anyways, I'm going to add rigid bodies onto them now. So I'm going to convert the plane onto um, a simulation tag and I'm going to apply um, a collider body onto this. And for all of these, I'm going to apply a rigid body. So I'm going to leave the balling pin, ball right now. I'm just going to apply it to all of the pins. I'm going to go to uh, 
simulation tag right over here reset body simulation tag reset body i'm going to go to simulation tag reset body right over here on lat 6 as well this is going to be a reset body this one is going to be reset body as well basically all of them are going to be reset bodies just like this so simulation tag reset body simulation tag reset body simulation tag uh reset body and simulation tag reset body just like this so everything is done so if i were to press the play button you can see that they actually do a bit of a jump right here meaning that the reset body and the collider is working on so now what i want to do is i want to add in motion onto this uh, bowling ball right here so i'm going to add in a keyframe over here onto um, its coordinates so i'm going to add in a keyframe onto its x coordinates right over here so i'm going to go and add in a keyframe from zero frames right over here on till the uh, 10th frame right over here let's drag this out and click it click this and you can see that there's a bit of a motion going on let's press the play button you can see that there's a lot of motion going on right over here let's say i do not want it uh very very uh, fast just like this so i'm just going to press ctrl z right over here maybe i want it around uh, 30 frames right over here so let's just go over here and there you go uh, I'm going to add in a keyframe. So let's press the play button and you can see that you got the motion you want. You can refine more motion by going on to the animation, but we're going to keep it simple right now. So now uh, let's go over here and now I'm going to apply reset body onto this as well. So I'm going to go over here onto the reset body. So I'm going to go over here onto the simulation tag on the reset body and i'm going to click on the reset body just like this so I'm, and now i'm going to press the play button but before that let me just increase the frame uh size of this and increase all of it let's see how everything works out if i were to press the play button now so you can see that it is actually going on quite slowly right over here so not the not the force that i expected right over here so i'm just going to go over to the animation uh right over here let me just delete the reset body right over here and just work around with the spear so if i were to press the play button you can see that the motion is there but it is not fast enough so let me just go over here the key time is 30 frames so let uh increase the force five frames there you go so if i were to press it you can see that the force is more and now I'm going to add in a reset body onto this. So I'm going to go over here on the simulation tag. I'm going to add in a reset body, press the play button. You can see that everything works out quite well now. So uh, you can see that there's more force onto this and the bowling ball actually hits the pin just like that. So press the play button and there you go. But if the ball is actually bouncing off, I do not want that right there. I want the ball to be heavy. So I'm going to go over here onto the reset body, uh, onto the dynamics right over onto the collision. Let's say I do not want it to bounce. So I'm just going to say 0% uh, bounce over here. The friction, uh, it is going to be around 50. I do, I do want it to slide a bit, just like this. On the plane, I don't want to change anything. So let me just place the play button and you can see that that is how everything works out now. But it is actually holding out the ball as you can see so if i were to press the play button it is uh not hitting it with that much of a force so i'm just going to go into the uh sphere object and i'm going to go to the mass and rotational mass let me just increase this in size play this around you can see that there's more force over there just like this and that is how everything works out like uh, you can also go over here and add in uh, more motion to this just like this so there's five frames over here you can also increase its length so there's more of uh, the thing going on right over here so let, let me just increase the force so you can see that there's the force right here let me add in the force up till here i can simply click and drag and if i were to press the play button right here you can see that there's a strike just like this and that is how the bowling ball actually works like so you can see that that is how everything works like so you can go over here and there you go so reset body everything the animation actually happens just like that quite naturally so that is how you can work around uh with balling pin and animation right over here uh to cr and create this sort of an animation quite easily by using dynamics inside cinema 4d hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe